Oh yeah, chillin' with Cav. So every Easter, Cav gets up. He lights his crawfish pot. And he makes his way on down to the seafood shack. Get him some spillway crawfish. Because... It's crawfish time, baby. Yep, it's crawfish time in Louisiana. If you've never been to a crawfish ball, you are missing out. It's like eating yummy little Cajun lobsters. First thing you gotta do is rinse them down, wash them off. That fresh water will purge out all the mud. So we got one bucket here, it doesn't have any holes in it gonna get them rinsed off then we're gonna dump this bucket into that bucket it's got holes in it drain them and then we're gonna throw them in the pot these are uh, spillway crawfish from Sid seafood all right Time to get to rinsing. time for the seasoning one big old bag or actually we're gonna add two bags of seasoning into this pot you don't want to breathe this in when you're standing right over it one bag I had the other bag, but I need my other hand to cut the bag open. Cut the potatoes up. Get them onions ready. Grab that corn. There you go. Put that corn in that pot, boy. Some more red potatoes. Crawfish boiled potatoes. Mm mm. Gotta get that sausage. That smoked Louisiana sausage. Put that in the pot. Yeah. Gotta slice up the sausage for the women. 
Yeah. Baby, you can't forget about the mushrooms. You know I like the mushrooms. Don't forget about the mushrooms. Don't forget about my mushrooms. Put the mushrooms in the pot. Come here, you've been bad. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's going in the video. Alright, so here you gotta take one out the pot and do a taste test. See if you soaked them long enough. If it doesn't have enough seasoning, let it soak just a little bit more. Apparently, Calf thought they were good, so he's pulling them out the pot like a boss. Say cheese. Here's the secret. You cook, you eat first. Get your fill now before everybody else comes and eats up all the crawfish. So you could just sit down and relax because you've been cooking all day, lifting up 80 pound pots of crawfish. Now is your time to eat and just sit down and let everybody else eat and then peel your crawfish when they're done. It's great when you get some help that comes over and they help you lift that strainer of crawfish out of that pot. You don't have to burn your hands with scalding hot water. A good friend makes the crawfish ball go so much easier. So this is about the time where everybody starts showing up and they're bringing some sides, some dessert, some king cake. And everybody's starting to dig in. Everybody's gossiping, talking. Let the good times roll. Does he want to roule?
if you look close enough, you will see some of the ladies wearing gloves. We still make fun of them because they do that not to mess up their fingernails. It's still funny. Look at all them leftovers. Shout out to my boy, the Cajun Ninja. This makes some good after boil soup. If you've never tried after boil soup and you never tried a crawfish boil, you need to do both of them. Check him out on YouTube, Cajun Ninja. This is about the time where everybody is full and they're thinking, should I eat anymore? Or should I just stop? When is the next time I'm gonna have some crawfish? Because we do have crawfish seasons. So it might be a little while. And then everybody starts peeling the crawfish tails, get ready for the freezer. The big platter right in the middle of the table. Everybody's peeling crawfish tails, putting them in that platter. I'm gonna take that platter of crawfish tails and we're gonna freeze them. We'll use those crawfish tails in the off season to make some good crawfish dishes. Crawfish etouffee. Look at all that yummy goodness. Put it on your bucket list. Come down to Louisiana and have a crawfish boil. Boy. Hey. That was a damn good show.